um, real smokers in this house, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Um, yeah, yeah, I am on Champix. Um, I'm 98%, I'm 97% smoke-free, and, and, and very proud of it. On the Champix, um, thanks. Be quiet. Thanks to uh, uh, the drug company Pfizer, Mr. Speaker. So I, I think I, I um, uh, speak from a uh, position of uh, authority, Mr. Speaker. I am uh, soon to be 50 years old, Mr. Speaker. I know, I know. Hard as it is to believe, Mr. Speaker. Um, for over half of my life, sir, I have been a smoker. Over half of my life has been as a smoker, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, our family has a long history of uh, supporting the tobacco industry. Mr. Speaker, some would have said that I would have been um, uh, put out by the, the dastardly deeds of a person who was going to increase the taxes on tobacco. I'm not. Um, and I'm not a zealot, uh, uh, unlike some people I know. Kia ora, honey. Um, but I think it is a good thing that we do. And the issue is, is, is about the health of a nation, not the health of one individual person, the health of a nation. And um, I think that, that uh, what it shows is that uh, how times have changed. And the Honourable Ruth Dyson mentioned... Uh, the debate not so long ago. In fact, not so long ago, my brother-in-law stood next to me in, the, in this house while I was a fully blown 100% smoker and tried to, well, he did introduce uh, uh, the uh, smoke-free smoke, smoke free, um, bill that he, that he introduced and it became uh, uh, the Honourable Stevie Chadwick's uh, bill, Mr Speaker. Um, and I railed against my brother-in-law about fancy doing that uh, to... Uh, a large portion of, of uh, people in our community fancy picking on the poor, fancy picking on... Yeah, we're in the same party, Mr Speaker. And he had the temerity to, um, to, to put forward a bill that, that now most probably uh, would get 90-odd percent support uh, in the House. I too, sir, when I was out of Parliament, when the smoke-free workplaces uh, bill came in, um, I used to run up and down and, and, and spewing forth uh, um, utter shock uh, that, that workers could not uh, have their smoke go break and have a smoke uh, when they wanted to. But now, sir, I would hazard a guess that a very large proportion of this country wouldn't want to go back to those days, uh, even though some of us pine... Uh, for the old days, uh, Mr Speaker. Sir, can I say, um, the, the issue of raising the excise on tobacco has been a, an interesting one. And small increases over a period of time don't, actually don't work. It's the large increase uh, that does work. The, the large very uh, 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 strong hit uh, uh, does work. My fear, sir, is that the lag between the, the say, 10 per cent rise in, in tailor-maids uh, each year over a three-year period uh, may, may not work. And, and uh, there, there, there has to be some serious thought, uh, sir, over the next 12 months or so, uh, about the, the next increase and the next increase after that. Is it to, to stay at 10% uh, percent or is it to rise uh, even more? I hear, sir, uh, just by watching the news, uh, that by 2013 a packet of 25s is going to cost you around about $17 or $18. And you've got to be mad, sir, to think that you can fork out 20 bucks uh, for a packet of smokes. But let me tell you, the habit is so strong that people will spend $20 on a packet of smokes. 
It is an addiction. And so what I uh, want the House to consider, and especially my colleagues on the front bench um, and that, those that sit around the Cabinet table, is this. That while we feel good about uh, doing something uh, as, we have, uh, as we are doing tonight and, and trying to help people quit and trying to make sure that young people don't start, there are products on the market today, sir, that, are, that you are not allowed in the country because they are supposedly unsafe. Now, uh, an e-cigarette, sir, is one of those products. You cannot get an e-cigarette with a cartridge of nicotine in it because it's supposedly, yes, this is a pen, <laughs> supposedly, uh, it's, it's, get this, it's not safe, but you're allowed to buy a cigarette in this country, and we know that ain't safe. So what's the, what's the you know, what, what am I getting at? We don't do enough, sir to break that habit of addiction, that, that, that addiction. We don't do enough. We've got, we spend millions of dollars on cessation programs that I've got to say, I've got to say that the evidence is, is starting to stack up that they actually don't work as well as we may believe. Oh yes, oh yes. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the privileged ones who has, uh, Oh, oh, well, it may, may look good in Hansard, it may not good, look good in Hansard, but the fact is that the figures are starting to show that the millions of dollars we spend on cessation programmes, not all of the cessation programmes, but the majority of cessation programmes of the last few years actually don't work, and, and it may have been a waste of money. It, it, it would have been better to subsidise some of the drugs it would have been better to allow some of the products in this country uh, to happen rather than spend our money uh, on those, sir. Uh, I'm, I am very glad, sir, that there is going to be a, a bigger increase uh, on Roll Your Owns. And because uh, 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 it's, it is a well-known fact, that's, that's why people smoke them, because they're cheap and because they, uh, uh, they last a bit longer than a packet of 25, sir. Sir, I, I want to, um, I, 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 I want to, to, to send a message, um, and that message is uh, not so much about who does what uh, on this area, you know, um, who gets the kudos, but I do want to um, uh, uh, congratulate my, my, my relation, my colleague, Hone Haruira, for bringing to the Māori Affairs Select Committee an issue that, uh, we, while we may have our differences about how to get there, we agree uh, on the final uh, uh, objective, and that is uh, to be as, as smoke-free as possible, sir. Um, <coughs> I also want to thank my National Party colleagues. <coughs> you know, I've seen, I've, I've seen the blogs. I've seen the uh, comments on my uh, very popular Facebook page. <laughs> and, sir, it says... Another win for the Māori Party. Another win for the Māori Party, sir. Well, I tell you what, it wouldn't have been a win for the Māori Party if it hadn't have been for the National Party. Without the National Party, this bill, this measure wouldn't be going through. So while we stand and talk about the uh, poor health and the, 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 the disease out there, that is tobacco. And, uh, uh, sir, can I say thank you to the National Party uh, for actually, you know, taking on board the submissions and the pleas made by the Honourable Tariana Anaturia and also remind the Government and the House in general that the Māori Affairs Select Committee is doing a sterling job in its inquiry into the use of tobacco and its effect uh, on Māori women. Kia ora. Kia ora.